check out the Hercules C-130. It's a military plane used to carry weapons, Humvees, and even drop bombs. Not exactly a light load. And to handle the tools responsible for building them, you've got to be strong, really strong. Here's one solution, a robotic suit aimed at giving workers superhuman strength. Right now, tell me, how, what does it feel like to you right now? Pretty much weightless. But I, I'm told that this is definitely not weightless. No, it is not. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try it, right? And I'm you gonna got, see. You got it, Wallace. All right. Pull it up. Oh, oh. okay. So that is certainly not weightless. When you stand or kneel, Fortis transfers weight to the ground. It has weights on the back to serve as a counterbalance. So that, this, and I can tell you, it is really heavy. So that essentially makes this feel like it's nothing. Right. You could not do the amount of work without, without something like that. No, you'd have to take a lot of breaks. Putting on the Fortis is like a cross between wearing a spacesuit and becoming a robot. It's a little awkward to move around, but wearing Fortis can suddenly allow you to lift heavy objects for long periods on end. And that's helpful when you're building something as big as a plane. We've all seen Iron Man before, but it seems so futuristic. And what was the idea behind it? Through looking at different technologies, we found that there was a need to help industrial workers who are experiencing fatigue from holding heavy tools up for long periods of time. You don't want the people building this thing to be tired. Objects are literally flying out of it. Lockheed Martin made Fortis to sell to its customers. The Navy just got two. But here at the C-130 plant, Lockheed's using it as a new manufacturing upgrade to a plane they've been making since the 1950s. But the 2014 model is being built in a way that's very futuristic. Oh my god! Lori Siegel, CNN Money, Marietta, Georgia.